This is a poem about the test. Here we go. Ow! <laughs> I've been counting down days till it's time for the test. Counting how many minutes and seconds are left. Counting how many hours and how many nights and how many questions I need to get right out of how many questions the tester will ask to the numbers of others all taking this task. Counting cups in a gallon, and feet in a mile, the days in a year, and the teeth in a smile, counting how many sunsets, how many moons, and how many brainstorms, tornadoes, typhoons, and how many natural disasters occur when the testing is done, but not after you were, counting how many seconds to answer too soon, counting how many miles away is the moon, how much oxygen fits in 100 balloons that are leaving cocoons inside of my belly and making me scared, think of how many that I had to prepare thinking how much I studied and how much I should have, how much more I could have and wished that I would have, if, would have been good if I hadn't a worry, a care, a concern, or to rush, or to hurry, wait. Okay, now, we did cover all this in my class, so if I can remember, I'm sure that I'll pass, I remember. Each hour contains 60 minutes, and each of the minutes has 60 seconds in it. In a year, 365 days, and I could keep counting in infinite ways. A mile, which I thought that I would get wrong, is 5,280 feet long. I know, I remember, it's all coming back. I'm glad that I studied, I'm glad I'm on track. Now I'm getting to sleep, so I'm rested and ready. And eating just right, not too light, not too heavy. I'm putting off video games and TV, and I'm asking my parents to study with me, and I'm focusing in on the task that's at hand, and on doing the best that I possibly can. Because it's not just for me, it's for my family too. And my teacher, who's done everything she could do, and I know that she did, she would stare and not blink. There were times when I saw her start crying, I think, maybe that was because I was doing so well, she was so proud, she cried. I don't know, couldn't tell. Well, it's coming. So here we go. Ready? Get set. Grab your pencils. Oh, pencils. I knew there was something that I would forget. Okay, my teacher just saved me. She gave me another. And this one is even sharper than the other. So I'm really, really ready this time. I'm breathing and trying to steady my mind. I'm practicing yoga without all the bending. And deep meditation, not even pretending. I'm ready to write till my hands become sore. Then I'll stop, and I'll stretch, and then I'll write some more. I'll fill in each circle, dark, perfectly round. I'll be quiet and won't make one hint of a sound. And then months down the line, even after we've left, we will learn how we actually did on this test. It will be like the principals telling the scores, and we'll picture her there, walking in through our doors with that look in her eyes that says, I can't believe what a feat you were all able to achieve. You passed it. You did it. It's over. It's done. Until next year, then you'll have to take another one. But, but don't think and don't worry about it just yet, boys and girls. You've got all the love and support in the world. We know you can do it. We know you'll succeed. And that's about all the support that we'll need. So teachers and students, vice principal too, and the parents and principal, can't forget you. Great job! You were all clearly up to the task. Now we're ready for any question you may ask. Go ahead, try to stump us. You can give us your best, it's okay. We know that it's only a test and the score is just a score. And the scores that we earn are not half as important as all that we've learned. So let's all get ready. Let's show what we know. We're set for the test. And we're ready to... Go. And we're ready to... Go. 